Country 107.3 WRWD. It's Party Marty Mitchell and my very special guest this morning is someone I've talked with many times. We've been friends for a long time. We've talked about the TV shows and the movies. And, of course, you know him from back in the day as Arthur Fonzarelli, otherwise known as the Fonz in the TV series Happy Days. Played the role for over 10 years, three times an Emmy Award nominee, two Golden Globes, Hollywood Walk of Fame star. He's co-authored over 31 books, and he has a new TV show to talk about. On our WRWD, Kingston Nissan Celebrity Hotline, good morning to my friend, Henry Winkler. Party Marty Mitchell, unbelievable. Good morning, buddy. Oh my gosh, good morning to you. Marty, how are you? Henry, I am doing great. Always love talking with you after so many years. And Oh, and by the way, some of your friends asked me to say hi to you here in the Hudson Valley. The Hudson Valley, one of the most beautiful places on the earth. Oh, so true, Henry. And I know how much you love the Hudson Valley. We've talked about it many times when you were in town through the years. Well, I have. And not only that, but the woman who literally said yes to Hank Zipser, the books that I write with my partner, Lynn, right. works in New York City and lives in the Hudson Valley. Oh, would you like to give her a shout out? <laughs> uh, Deborah, if you're listening, hello to your family and thank you uh, for saying yes uh, 12 years ago. Wow, that's great. Henry, in addition to talking about the Hudson Valley, there's something else very special you'd like to share with us. I'm very excited to talk about my show. Uh, it premiered last Tuesday. Yes. It was the highest premiere of a summer show in uh, 2016. I was so happy. We made it a year ago. We were in Asia. George Foreman, Bill Shatner, Terry Bradshaw, and the stand-up comic Jeff Dye, young man. And we traveled all through Asia, six cities, Five cameras for 35 days. Finally, a TV show. Henry Winkler, my special guest with Party Marty on WRWD. Henry, where did the concept for Better Late Than Never come from? It was originally a show that um, they, they bought the rights from South Korea. It was originally done in South Korea where men of age uh, travel together. They go to a culture they don't understand. They learn about it, about themselves, and about each other. And it turned out that it's so funny. Henry, between you, another legendary actor, William Shatner, boxing legend George Foreman, football legend Terry Bradshaw, and comedian Jeff Dye, as you get ready for the first stop on your six-city, four-country Asian tour, did any of you know the language when you travel overseas? No, none of us are familiar with the language. <laughs> uh, Bill Shatner uh, reads all the time. He's read almost every book ever written on the earth. Yeah. And wants you to know what's on every page. So he knew uh, some about the culture. Uh -huh. okay. uh, I'm an executive producer, one of them, and I said, I don't want to know what we're about to do so that each, um, uh, each place we go is a challenge. It's brand new. And it turned out to be really funny. People have come up to me in the last week, honestly, and said, I have not laughed that hard in a very long time. <laughs> I nearly peed myself. So I carry extra underwear for those fans. It's a great story. I'm talking with my friend Henry Winkler, brand new series on NBC. It's a new comedy event series. Last week was the first. Tonight, episode number two of Better Late Than Never. It'll be airing from 10 to 11 p.m. tonight on NBC. How about something a little crazy or funny that happened on the show? Perhaps unexpected. One of the craziest things that happened is we go tonight in Hong Kong. We go into this hole in the wall. Uh, it is a medicinal uh, restaurant. And because it's good for your circulation, yeah. uh, the producers thought it would be really important for us all to lunch on cow penis soup. <laughs> I would like to just say... <laughs> Not for me. No? <laughs> no. Then I was handed a cobra that, you know, when you know a snake is unhappy when they all of a sudden become like a solid muscle yes. and they straighten out. Right. And then it started to turn and face me. I ran out of there like a, like a nine-year-old girl. <laughs> How do they convince you to even get close to a snake? You know what? When you're in the moment and you're there and, and it's... Uh, you think to yourself, I don't know if I will ever do this again. Yeah. I've got to go for the gold. And I thought, oh, there they can't be something dangerous handing me a, a, a snake like this. Of course not. And when it turned to face me, oh. I remembered every documentary I ever saw. <laughs> I, I was not a mongoose, let me just say. <laughs> 
<laughs> so now when you watch it back, you'll think, I know exactly what was going through my mind. And it's funny because you said, this is something I may never do again. And you're right. It probably will be something you'll never do again or even want to do again. <laughs> well, without, without a doubt. And not only that, but I now have four friends. I met an elephant in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, I watched George Foreman, who is this gentle giant who has made napping into an art form. And when he stepped into the ring to make an appearance in Thailand, he stepped through the ropes, and you literally, in front of your eyes, watched the champion grow into this mountain. He owned the space. It was, it was just an amazing thing to witness. Wow, I can imagine it, too, after all these years as well. It's Party Marty Mitchell on Country 107.3 WRWD. My special guest, my buddy of many years, Henry Winkler, NBC's new comedy event series, Better Late Than Never, episode number two. It's airing tonight on NBC from 10 to 11 p.m. And quite an impressive cast, Henry. We were talking about it earlier. William Shatner is joining you, George Foreman, Terry Bradshaw, and comedian Jeff Dye. Whose idea was it to put the cast together? Did you have each person in mind, or did it just kind of fall into place? Well, you know, you, uh, a lot of it is you're flying by the seat of your pants. Right. Now, Bill um, was one of the first men uh, to say yes. And then you just you, you go with your instinct, and you have a feeling that, oh, they've got a great personality, <laughs> they've got a big personality, um, that everybody is so different, and they bring such a different experience. That's what you think. And then when you get on the road, you find out we're all the same. Some people are just bigger. You know, I look like a toothpick standing <laughs> next to George Foreman or Terry Bradshaw. But we had a, a wonderful time. Tonight, uh, in the episode in Kyoto, Japan, I teach um, a school, uh, a ninja school, how to walk with stealth the Winkler way. And we'll find out what the Winkler way is tonight on NBC's comedy event series, Better Late Than Never, episode number two. It airs tonight on NBC from 10 to 11 p.m. Henry Winkler, my buddy of many years, chatting with me this morning on Country 107.3 WRWD. Looking forward to the show tonight. And Henry, when you think about all the things that you've accomplished, I mean, this is going back to 1973 when you first auditioned in L.A. and a change of life forever for you. Producer Gary Marshall was there and Tim Miller, they're casting you as the Fonz, the iconic Arthur Fonzarelli in Happy Days. Ten years on the show. You won two Golden Globe Awards, nominated three times for Emmy Awards. You've been on countless TV shows and movies, Night Shift, The Waterboy, I mean, you name it. You've done it all. And when I say you've done it all, I mean it. I mean, you've co-written 31 children's novels. And now you fast forward to 2016, where you're on a TV show holding a python facing you. You know what I promise you, <laughs> Party? I never thought about it in my life. I, meanwhile, I love the idea that your first name is Party. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it's very informal. Okay. Party Marty? Call me Party. Party Marty? <laughs> what represents a party right now in front of you, in front of that microphone? Talking with you, buddy, a Hollywood legend, Henry Winkler. It's always a party with Party Marty and Henry Winkler right now. Oh, wow, what a great answer. I was thinking bottles of vodka. <laughs> That's after the show. Henry, you mentioned off the air when we were talking about a guarantee. What is your guarantee? Here is my guarantee. I promise you that we will make you laugh. We have such a good time together and experience at the same moment something we have never either seen or eaten or danced or, um, or participated in. It is truly an adventure. And what is amazing, my partner and I wrote our 32nd novel just before I left for America. And Hank Zipser, little Hank, gets locked in the zoo in the uh, elephant enclosure. And then just two months later on this trip, I meet an elephant in Thailand. And I'm telling you, it was a life-changing experience. You, you know, here's a fact. Elephants can't jump. How to hug an elephant. <laughs> and I got to hug this 15,000-pound pachyderm. It changed my life. Were you afraid when you first did it? I was not. You literally feel this empathy coming off the elephant. Wow. Uh, you know, they say that elephants are very emotional, and 
I'm telling you, with, and he only spoke another language, right? He only spoke what they speak in Thailand. I spoke English. <laughs> right, so right. we didn't understand each other but through <laughs> words. But I'll tell you that we understood each other. Just, he looked me in the eye. I looked him in the eye. It was amazing. That really is incredible. I love the stories, Henry. Is there anything that you haven't done yet that one day you say, you know what, I've done all the shows, I've done the movies, I've worked with animals? Tell you what I would like. I would like to fly fish as much as I can, and I would love to watch my grandchildren thrive as adults. Oh, that's I haven't great. done that. I would like to do that. One of them is one, Jules. Uh, his brother is four. His cousin is three. And his oldest cousin is six. How do they react when they see you on TV? I'm watching Happy Days with my uh, four-year-old grandson. And he turned to me. He kept staring at me. He said, Papa, that's you. (laughs) I said, yes, it is. Papa, your hair is different. Papa, you are slimmer. (laughs) I said, thank you very much for pointing that out. (laughs) That's a great story. Henry, we have to do this more often. My friend, Hollywood legend Henry Winkler of NBC's new comedy event series, Better Late Than Never, episode number two. It airs tonight from 10 to 11 p.m. Henry, thank you again. Looking forward to the show and talking to you again real soon. Let me know. Let me know. I think I'll make you laugh.